I have the butterfly on a piece of the special tape. Um, I also, because I knew I'd have a little extra, have a little kind of triangle piece. I'm going to move this to the side for right now. I have my silicone mat down. I have my little one fluid ounce medicine cups. And we have stone coat countertops, art resin, part A and part B. This one I've spilled some stuff on. I had it on my phone. So I'm going to put my other glove on real quick. We're going to try to not take too very long, but I also want to kind of get stuff done. So we're going to mix the stone coat countertops resin. Um, these cups are pre-measured. We have the measurements on the side to make it easier. So we're just going to do about a fourth of an ounce of each. That'll make half an ounce of resin so that we can go from there. So. Here's a fourth of an ounce of part A, which is the actual resin. And B is the hardener. And we're going to do about equal parts. Um, this resin, it's equal parts based on volume, not based on the weight. So it's a one-to-one -one ratio. Also with this stone coat countertop art coat, you have about a 45 minute working time from the time you mix them. So I'm just gonna go ahead and mix. Make sure we get all of it out. I'm going to set that cup there because we are going to use that cup for one of the colors. And we're just going to stir for a few minutes. So while we're stirring, we'll talk a little bit about what we're doing. So this specific piece I'm making as a birthday present. And I think this video will probably be up before the birthday, so I'm not really going to mention names. I might hold the video back a little bit more, I'm not sure. But so the colors I've chosen are the Arteza Iridescent Premium. I've got Glowing Peach, which is kind of a pink color. And I've got Dreamy Lemon Yellow. And then I think I may use a little bit of the Playful Pink, which is the one that looks like white. We'll see. Um, and if I ended up adding more colors, I will. But I'm pretty sure those are the two colors we're going to mainly stick to for this piece. Um, because those are her favorite colors. There are a lot of bubbles here, but I just want to make sure it's a nice even mix. Scrape all the sides, scrape the bottom. get it mixed really well and then we won't have to worry about the rest of it. Okay. So here's the colors I'm going to be using. I have the Glowing Peach, Dreamy Lemon Yellow, and then the Playful Pink. three colors, three cups. So I have the cup that we had the hardener in, a new cup, and then our original cup. So we're just gonna divide it into three cups. I'm gonna do less of the white than the other two colors.
and rule of thumb when you're mixing resin, um, whether you're using paint, mica powders, um, whatever you're going to use to color them, you want to use one tenth of the paint to the resin. So we're just going to use a drop. I'm going to mix that one up and then we'll go to the next color. And the reason I'm doing all this on video instead of pre-mixing the paints is I had somebody request a video. So we figured we'd just do it here. Or I figured we'd just do it here. I love these iridescent paints. They're gorgeous. Okay. Then we're going to do the Dreamy Yellow Lemon. Gotta wait till the paint gets to the bottom. Again, scrape the sides real good. Make sure you scrape the bottom because you don't want to be adding the color to something and then end up with some spots in it that are like almost clear. Let me grab one more stir stick for the playful pink. Well, gotta get the paint to the bottom. Need to start leaving these sitting upside down. Okie dokie. Here we go. And when I'm mixing it, you can already kind of see a little pink glare in the white. I think that's going to give it some shimmer and set it apart. The iridescents are metallic, so it's going to make for a really nice butterfly piece. So I'm going to set these colors here. I'm going to slide my piece over. Make sure it's pushed down on the tape real good. And then we have these little droppers. You just squirt and it pulls up. And I figured I could use that to drop the resin in the small pieces so that we wouldn't have any issues. So I've got a dropper for each color and I'm just going to stick it in. Hope that it works and it sucks the color up. Clean off the tip so I don't make a mess and then squirt it in place. Anything that gets stuck on top of the metal part I can always sand down later. It's not working quite as easy as I thought it would, but I'm having to pop some big bubbles as it shoots out. Yeah, so it's not as quite as mess free as I thought it was going to be. But we're going to make it work the best we can. I think if I had some smaller droppers, maybe. As long as it goes in. Let me see if I've got. As long as it goes down off in it. Then I can just sand the I'm popping some bubbles here with this tool. I will have to sand it off because it didn't do quite as clean as I thought it would. I'm gonna let that stick out there. We're gonna try the yellow.
this is my first time trying with these pieces and everything, so I guess we're going to just learn as we go. I'm going to get a little bit of yellow down here. I do think if I had a finer tip on this that it would be a little easier to do. That's okay. I can always just put the top down. Put her there. And grab one more because, yeah, these tips are a little wide. And I am going to torch this ever so slightly when I'm done. Because there are some bubbles in here. Okay, one more little spot right here. The circle at the top, of course, is where it goes onto the thing. I will have to sand a few spots. Try to pop a few big bubbles, and then I will deal with. I'm going to use this for the first time. We're going to see. Okay. Okay, there you go. Do, do, do. Let's see a large bubble right there. It doesn't want to pop. I was hoping it would pop. Well, while that one's doing its thing, hopefully I can clean up the top a little bit. We're going to use something that's not going to be so difficult. Um, I'm going to take this one. And we're just going to do a design in it with the same colors. I'm going to use pink in the tip. A little bit more pink. I'm going to use the yellow. The white, which made like a playful pink. It's called playful pink, but it looks white. This one doesn't want to cooperate, so I'm just going to use the stick which I can use on the bigger ones like this. I'm just going to try to move it to the edges so that it's filled. I'm going to torch it a few times. Oop, maybe not that close. If I turn it down any lower, it doesn't 
do. I may not be using this torch, you guys, for this stuff. Because if you turn any lower, it doesn't do. Let me see if I can reach my other torch without. And see if it's got any butane in it. It does, so we're just going to use it. Okay. So yeah, lesson learned. The tape burns. Oop, don't want to get stuck on that. So here they are. Side by side. And I'm just going to turn this one so that maybe the other colors seep this way just a little bit more. There we go. And once this starts setting up a little bit, then I'll try to clean it up some, especially outside here. But worst case, I can just sand that and it should be okay. I do have resin left over, so I think I'm going to... Take one of these keys. I'm going to slide these out of the way. And I think I'm just going to fill the tray with the resin. Uh, that's a little wobbly. I need to sit some sticks under it to level it up. There we go. Okay. So we're just going to do the same color. Okay. Then we're going to do the yellow. And then we'll fill in with the playful pink that looks white. Okay. I think that's kind of cute. I'm going to torch these two one more time just to be sure and we're just going to kind of let that sit now as always I take the extra resin that I have if I don't use all of it and I put it into molds um, normally the rock mold but since I have this new mold um, let me just go ahead and test it out brand new mold. Here we go. I can't really make this, but we will just kind of place this mold where we can see what we're doing. And I think instead of just doing this stark lines, I think I'll swirl it some. This time. Um, I say let's do a heart. So let's do just random places with the colors. Okay. Once I get the foundation laid to where the colors are where they need to be, I'll come back in and add more of each color as we go up to fill in the full mold. So we're going to add more pink. Let's 
some more yellow. Some more white. Sorry for the alarm clock in the background. The bedroom's in the next room over. And I want to say it's probably close to 3 o'clock in the morning, so those alarms probably going off. We're getting close to the top, so I want to make sure that we get them all done. Oh, just about went over. We're almost done with the yellow. It's almost all the yellow that there is. Okay, let's try a little bit more of the whitish pink color. We're almost level to the top, so I think that'll put me at the top. Pretty much. Okay. I'm going to torch that one. I'm going to wipe off a little excess from the outside edge. So that it's already cleaned up. Okay. And then I've got a little bit more. So before I turn the camera off, I'm just going to take what I've got left and fill in the shape. Oh, and of course he gets up singing on a video okay so I don't think I'm gonna use uh, loudness I don't think I'm gonna use the droppers anymore so I'm just gonna kind of sit them here I want to say I should peel right up off the silicone because these are almost empty so there's not going to be much dropper availability here. Okay, I'm putting the last of the yellow in here. I'm going to add some pink here to level it up. If I have to, I'll add some clear on top if they dome, because sometimes they sink down. as they harden and then you'll have like a gap so to prevent that I'm going to add some clear to the top if I have to This one we're just going to kind of let it marble itself because we're just kind of using what's left. Where's the small one? Let's see. We'll do this one. Okay, and then I've got some of the white left.
Okay. And then we're just going to be done for the night and we'll come back in about 24 to 48 hours and see what they look like. And demold them. I'm going to kind of swirl that one around. Okay. So I'm pretty happy with those. We'll see what they look like in about 24 to 48 hours. And then if they don't, if they divot some, then we'll just add some clear to the top. So I'm going to do a final run over everything with the torch. And we're good to go. So let me know what you guys think. And I can't wait to come back and try them out and see what they look like or demold them.